ông ấy. prepare because now have one float of buffalo is coming. Okay. Welcome to a chilly countryside with many symbol of the countryside village. You can see a rice field, the float of buffalo is riding along the field. And uh, now in July, people, the farmer in Vietnamese, they don't have to do any work here anymore because now we have blowing machine. The buffalo don't have to uh, wear the pole when crushing the uh, land like in the past anymore. Now the technology, the uh, modern uh, machine will replace the buffalo task on the farm. But it's still one important symbol of the countryside of Vietnam. Every countryside you can see buffalo like this. But you cannot um, see any buffalo exploding. They don't have to work in here. They're just eating grasses and then go back to the cage. Hello everyone, my full name is Bùi Mỹ Linh. I come from Vietnam uh. and today I will go with Bob Vincent, <laughs> go to the countryside of Hanoi. And this place we are standing is the suburban of the city where people raise many grasses and the banana tree. That is the uh, food for the buffalo. So when we take the car riding along these bikes, you can see there are many buffalo. They are eating, relaxing, chewy, and have one owner watching them. They may just go around for the morning. So when you come here in the noon time, there will be no more buffalo go around like this. So now enjoy them. If you want to come closer, they are very calm. They won't harm you. The buffalo. You have to wake up very early, around 3, 4 a.m. Yeah. And you go to a like a queuing uh, uh, where where the uh, mud, yeah. the people they kill the buffalo and they they will cut off the head, only yeah. the body, yeah. and uh, rip their skin, and yeah. then they distribute the meat of the buffalo, the beef, the pork to the yeah. local yeah. nearby strip, uh, the market. So if you go to the tradition market and you cannot uh, find the difference between the beef or the buffalo meat because they don't have any head and uh, just the red skin yeah. so you cannot find any difference Yeah. And we finished okay. filming two themes of buffalo. One is buffalo eating grass on the dice. Yeah. And another scene is buffalo riding on the rice field. And now I, I'm trying. I hope that we can uh, find Sanya. some local house that they uh, make the buffalo eating in the house. Or they can have some uh, local activities like the children playing with buffalo. I will find some other scene for you. Okay. Yeah. If we're lucky, we may see some house that they let the buffalo stay outside. So people actually own buffalo at their house? They have buffalo in the family that they have the rice field. Oh, yeah, if yeah. they don't make the farming work, so they don't need buffalo. So do um, what a buffalo, do they like to watch television? Television buffalo? What a buffalo watch TV them, themselves. Oh, in the local house. So you don't let buffalo go inside the house. They don't? They don't see their image oh. on the television. Not at all? Yeah, not at all. Oh. I think they, the buffalo is big and it's quite dirty. Oh, they come into the living room. Yeah. Yes, that seems see. not happen. <laughs> if they are the lovely animal like cats or dogs, they have a chance to sit with human. 
Yeah. But they're too big and a little bit dirty yeah. and smelly also. So have you ever washed a water buffalo? Mm, they just mm, go to the lake and they, they swimming by them. themselves. No one yeah, no, no batting for them. So there's, there's no soap involved? Yes, no. no they just, soap. Yeah. Yeah, just dumping into the lake mm. or the river. Okay, do they um, brush their teeth? The teeth is their teeth is very strong and white. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but I think their teeth is much more stronger than me. Yeah. <laughs> the camera girl. Okay. Hey, hello, my box, mom. Look at the water buffalo. I like to sing when they relaxing. Now we are discuss about the buffalo meat, how it tastes. I have okay. uh, eat one time in my um, um, party at home. Yeah. And the price to buy the buffalo in the market is much more cheaper than the than the beef. And it tastes. I think the beef uh, tastes better. The buffalo is like very strong smell, and it's also very sticky when you eat. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they just make it uh, stir fry with the vegetable. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they put many um, lime juice and the uh, pineapple juice to make it softer. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. And uh, some place they also dry the buffalo meat. Yeah, they dry it and they make like one snack, the uh, buffalo jerky. <laughs> and you can find in some supermarket. They have they sell the uh, box with the uh, uh, dry buffalo meat. And the taste is also good because they put many sugar and spices. Okay. Uh, it's less sticky than when you eat um, okay. when it's still uh, on the plate with the vegetable. Okay. And uh, you um, when you want to buy the vegetable and the uh, buffalo meat, you can go to many traditional market in Vietnam. Okay. Just a uh, oh, one. They maybe eat, uh, maybe we should go to a uh, water buffalo market. Now, if you want to see the market. We have to go inside the village. Okay. Oh, just, just open in the morning, half morning. Okay. After this time, they don't have so many people go and buy the ingredients. Yeah. So the market is stopped. Okay. Just for a few hours in the morning. Is it open now? Mm, now, let me see. Okay. I will ask the driver. Yeah. You can find everything you need for meals here. Wow. And over there. It's wow. this, I think this one is only in Vietnam, the bamboo roots. Oh, yeah? And the taste is quite unique. Ooh. But not every people like this, uh, like the taste of the bamboo roots. Yeah. Yeah. When you buy this one, you can cook it with the, the um, you can make the uh, soup or you can uh, stir fry with the meat Ooh. in the hot pot. For big lunch, we also use this one like a topping. Yeah. You put it with the meat, so in one bowl, we can eat many kind of um, ingredients okay. together. Vietnamese like this one. And we have one stop in the shop, they sell the dog meat. In Vietnam, not every market sells this kind of meat. Normally, we just have pork, beef, or chicken. But this village, people like dog meat. So you can see on the this side, have many dog meat shops. Uh, they still have the head and the tail, so you can know this is truly dog meat. Yeah, and this part is from the store meat. People like to eat them and uh, drink wine. That is a good combo for lunch. In uh, Asia, Korean, Chinese and Vietnamese, men really like eating dog meat yeah, in the summer. You can see still dog head over there. And this one small low fan to put yeah, to make the uh, fly away from the meat. Yeah, okay, okay. To keep the meat away from the flies. Oh. Yeah. You want to eat dog meat no. after cook? No. <laughs> yeah, there's some restaurant. They serve dog meat with wine. Chili lunch. Vietnamese men really enjoy this. Some place in Thái Bình province, about a few minutes from here, they also eat cat meat. Also, they steal the cats from the family. Yeah, no cat farm here. The cat and the dog here is all for the family. They are the friend from some family and some family eat them. Yeah. That's why we, some people, they not promote the place they sell dog meat like this. Because it's all the pet. It isn't good to be a dog here, huh? Mm, no. no. <laughs> oh, she got it. It jumped from the porch. 
some unlucky dogs. When the bad man, they're looking around. Oh, the, the bad man, bad yeah, person. Bad person. Yeah. They uh, uh, take dog from the house like this. Yeah. And it's all illegal. Is this salt water or, or fresh water? This is the fresh water. Fresh water. Okay. This this kind of fish just uh, live in the lake or river. Yeah. It's not the uh, sea fish. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Take a picture of it. Yeah, I got him. People walk around and bikes and everything else going wacky back forth this way up and down. Yes, in Vietnam, some way we have two sides, two legs, but some only one side. But Vietnamese people, because um, our traffic is not so organized, people they sometimes they didn't follow the signal lamp, really? or they can uh, go. <laughs> yeah, the red light they still go. Yeah. If there are no police stand in the corner. How much is the ticket? You get you go for a red light. How much mm, dong is it? Yeah, they would charge the police would charge us about ten dollar over. Depend on you have license, driving license or not, yeah. or you crushing another people or any yeah. accident or not. Yeah. If you just mm, unlucky, you are hurry and you didn't realize any police around. Yeah. So maybe they would charge you about 15, 10 to 15 dollars, yeah. about 300,000 mm. yeah. dollars. When I first time at riding motorbike, when I 18 years old, I will char um, be charging five hundred thousand dong uh, because I'm I'm still young. I don't know how to uh, beg and to beg them, yeah. how to yeah call and to tell them. But when I have more experience and I tell them I have no money, they can take <laughs> my motorbike and also I haven't have any money to go to uh, yeah, yeah to collect it back. So they still let me go without money. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on your skill. Yeah, yeah. You can beg it, or you can discuss, or you can yeah, beg yeah. them or not. Hello, yeah. oh, this is Ling again. This is uh, day number two for the Water Buffalo movie. And now uh, today, we're heading to a different road. For the first day, we go along the Red River down to Bank and we see on the dikes there are many buffalo they are led to go around on the rice field but today i will take you to go to Bakning province Bakning province is a province that located in the northern of hanoi from here to there about 30 kilometers also along the red river delta and uh, now we uh, get out of the city center and we just follow the uh, highway and when along the street, you will see on two sides, there are many rice fields. And um, for the weather today, it's very nice. So I hope that there will be a lot of buffalo eating grass. And also maybe the, you can see the farmer with the buffalo. Action. Action. Yeah. Normally, the farmer have to get up quite early in the morning to sowing the seed so you see all the rice field now is full of the young rice they will start sowing on the uh, fields around 4 to 5 a.m. in the morning so uh, when the sun is rising is rise up they will finish their work and get back home to prepare for the lunch for their children and uh, one farmer over there she is finishing her working and now riding bicycle back home Every few now is finished sewing. Now we are standing just behind the Mutap Pagoda and around this village. This village is called the Bắc Ninh. And this is one um, province that 70% population is working on the farm. And as you see over there, one lady, he, she is putting the pesticide to her farm. Ngang không như kiểu chào xin chào hi hello rồi <cười> hello xin chào <cười> <cười> chào hello bên Việt Nam bị cái này có người người ăn như nào người nhịn 
Để cứ đều đều đây các nhà đây nhưng nó không cấy thì nó để ra màu. Đây như năm nay mưa để đâm ra này bỏ hết cả. Thế là ở bên này là toàn trồng màu cỏ ừ. không? Ừ đây, trồng màu đây, không được không trồng màu. Uh, she is explained to me that the people around here, how they organize, they divide the rice field for each family. And she say uh, for one big farm like this, they are the working place for about 30 different family. Each family they have like just about one uh, ten meters square. Each uh, rice plant like this, not one family cannot have all on the farm. Okay. Because they want to make equal to everyone. Okay. Cho cho là chắc là trong vòng tí nữa. À thế là khách quay lại lưu niệm cho bạn bè xem đấy. Her name is Hằng. Okay, can you spell it H U N G? H U N G. H A N G. H I N G. Yes, H A N G. This is only the first name. Okay, only the first name. Okay. The first name is Hằng. You can be out to lắm mà sao? I hear her friends. Her neighbor. <laughs> She's coming from the market to buy cucumber for her family. And uh, surrounding all the farm, some some place far away from the resident, they also make gathering around by many grave together in a cemetery, because in uh, Vietnamese culture they want the um, ancestor to uh, rest in peace in the farm, in the peaceful green where they uh, was born, where they was producing for their meals and also where they rest. It's all in the farm, the rice plant like this. So how far down do they bury them? Um, in Vietnam, with the full body, they uh, bury them and it's about for five years. After five years, they will um, they, uh, they uh, put all the bonds, they clean. Yeah. Then they uh, make everything in a new coffin, mm. in a smaller one. And that will be the last, the last time they see their ancestor. They will uh, bury them in two times. The first time to waiting on the body become only bones. And after that, they will, uh, will uh, make sure they open the coffin and they use the wine to clean each bones to make sure the uh, ancestors, their parents, have uh, not to uh, rest in a very muddy and dirty place. They will train the coffin the second time. This is one kind of um, the uh, tradition go from China. Hmm. And uh, now because the land, the cemeteries now, is just limited, so they train to find all the people. They're not buried anymore. All oh, the cemeteries out around here is all the ancient one. Oh. It's for a very long time before. And after that time, many countries they stopped bury the dead people oh. in the village or the farm. Yeah, around from 17th century to 19th century. And after 19th century, they use the farm to uh, expand the rice and many ancient cemeteries. It's, they still keep it there. But some they will train. Oh. They will send it to the national cemetery. They not leave it here anymore. In some pagoda, you can see some small cemetery only for the people, the dead people from the village. Some people want to rest in peace in the purity, pure place and stay near the Buddha. That's why many families, they want to bring the dead people and bury them inside the pagoda complex. The new one cannot be buried here. You can see one person over there was died in 1989. 1989? The new one? Yeah, here the newest one, on 1989. Okay. What is that? Frog? Oh yeah, yeah, toad. Have some poison. Oh, poison? Right? Yeah, if you touch, if their skin is sensitive, so maybe you have some oh. alle allegory. But the, uh, the frog, Vietnamese people, they think this, the meat of them can uh, make soup and the, the support them children. They are very thin and they want to grow faster. They can eat this one. It has many nutrition. Oh, yeah? <laughs> they think that. And the, because the frog is not so popular and its price also very expensive for frog soup. 
You can see the frog is not afraid of people. If you not touching them, they will just stand here for all day. Because frog is a consider is the uh, the resident the god sent from heaven go to uh, the world. So they will treat. They don't want to uh, treat the frog like very bad because it's it's a mistake that will cause many problems. Yeah, they, they think the frog is very powerful animal. But still many people want to eat the frog. <laughs> one, one cemetery that we have passed before is very well organized. And in fact, there are many villages that they have the cemetery just only for the small kids that they were abroad by the parents. And mainly a girl. Because the Vietnamese uh, people, they, they are considered that if they have a girl after marriage, it's not their daughter anymore. They will serve. He is, she will serve for the husband family, and the parent have nothing, so they prefer to have a boy. And some family, because in each family, we just limit maximum two child. Now, if um, in the past, if the third child was born and the parent will lose a job, if they work in the uh, official com company or in the government office. And uh, if the second child is girl, many percent that the the mom will abort it. And some uh, people they do the charity and they rent a farm. They put many uh, the children about less than three months will abort, and they uh, gathering in the same area with the other unlucky girl. And I, I think the uh, cemetery over there is for the abort children because the grave is very small and all painted the white color. That is, if uh, for the adult or for the dead people, normally they will paint many color red, pink. But in that cemetery, only one white color and the grave is very small and no name. So I think that is for the unlucky children that cannot be human. They were abort when they still in the uh, mother tummy. Talk like right into here. Yes, yeah, right to the micro. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Please, okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, now one truck coming. Okay. You waiting for the truck? Look at this a little higher. Yeah, that's good. I should. I shouldn't have flowered in. Yeah. See, flower. I'm on the flower now. Okay. Okay, you can talk if you want. Okay. I don't want to. I got him. Oh. He's on a rope? There's a rope. Yeah. Attached to his nose? Yeah, he's stuck in his nose. You want to cut it? <laughs> that would hurt. Yes, I hurt. In Vietnamese and in, in Vietnam, in China, there are still many families, and especially the countryside. They just want to have boys, they don't want girls. Because they think girls is very unhelpful. They just graduate, they just uh, grow up and bring on the money for the husband family. But in the uh, city now, the girl and the boy can have the equal treat from the family. Like in my uh, family, I uh, have one uh, baby brother, but if, she, if he is not a boy, he's a girl, so he also have a well educated and everything is equal with the other boys. But in the countryside, many, many um, uh, dad, they don't want to have too much girl because they think girl, they not serve for the family, they will serve for the husband family. And uh, if they have no boy, and after they die, no one worship them, no one remember to them, and the grave have no one to take care every day, because the girl have to go to the husband family and cannot visit the her family every day. So it's quite sad when in uh, Vietnam many family they don't give the girl a equal treat like his or like her brother.
I see in uh, nearby my place where I stay. Many rich family they prefer girl because now in Vietnam we are like in uh, the uh, women. Many boy in my uh, brother generation is very hard have to competitive very uh, strong to have one wife because uh, the um, in the hospital estimate there are 100 boy was born but only about 90 girl so there will be about seven boys have no wife in the future so if uh, have, if one boy one get a good girl they have to compete with many other competitions so I think this um, uh, um, equal this my prefer boy better than girl is still happen in the countryside in Vietnam so maybe in the future Vietnamese people have to go abroad go to Cambodia or Laos or some other country to find wife because in Vietnam has not enough for them I think with the girl, I think that um, may be a good, a uh, good chance that I can, I don't have to be so pretty or so good, but I still ha can choose a good uh, husband because we are less than them. So they have to treat them to stop um, the uh, girlfriend if they want to have a good wife or they can have to compete with uh, many other same age men. And uh, in your country, do you think uh, girls is like, less important? No, yeah, that's crazy. Women make more money than men now. Now many women is president, yeah. and CEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, as you can see, this is the Gai River. And on the bank of the river, we are very lucky to see a herd of buffalo are swimming and eating. And um, you can see the buffalo, they are crazy in love with water. Every place with water, like river or in the rice field, you can see many buffalo, they come here and they gathering in the group. They are swimming and eating grass around the dive. And uh, for the buffalo, in uh, Vietnamese culture, you can, if you can zoom out, you can see they, they don't have on the upper jaw, there are no teeth. And Vietnamese have many stories to explain that why the buffalo has no teeth on the upper jaw. There are only one line in their uh, dao. In a Vietnamese cultural life, the buffalo take a very important role. They are the friend of the family and they also very uh, precious uh, property with the poor family. In a one family in the past, especially in the northern highland, when the uh, side of the field is too small, one plowing machine cannot go inside and make the farming work. And they need the buffalo to uh, draw the sack to go around the field. And after that, the land will be messing and they can grow in the new crops under the uh, after the buffalo plowing possessions. And with the buffalo in the past, during the war, they also used the buffalo to carry the load and also carry people. In a family, in a typical farmer family in Vietnam, normally the buffalo will draw the sack along the field with the husband when the, the wife is sowing the young rice and the children are playing the flood on the buffalo bike. So buffalo, they have important role and the image of them is everywhere in Vietnamese art, Vietnamese culture and also in the movie. And there are some uh, cartoon, the traditional cartoon of Vietnam, they make the story about buffalo. If you, if you get one, one sound be good. Because it depends on the... Come on. Yeah, good, good shot. So, 
how much does a water buffalo cost? Mm, you can buy one motorbike about 17 million. 17 million? Yeah, when you sell one buffalo, you can buy one motorbike. The cheap one about 17 million. So yeah. how much is that in American dollars? Uh, nearly one thousand dollar. Okay, so a thousand dollars. I think one nine hundred. A buffalo is very precious with a farmer. Yeah. So how much does a tractor cost? A tractor with with the wheels and all that. A tractor? You mean big car? Yeah, big tractor for for the fields. Oh. Sort of a water buffalo. How much does that cost? It's maybe about ten buffalo. <laughs> yes, more than one hundred. Yeah. Million thousand dong. Yeah. Yeah, more than ten thousand dollars. So it's cheaper just to get two water buffalo. If you now they the each family doing the farm, they need I think at least two buffalo and yeah. one towing machine. Yeah. And now people don't need buffalo to help them uh, do the farm work anymore because all the machine replace the buffalo. Yeah. That's too bad. The farmer is throwing. Make sure the buffalo is all stand up. The young one. The no boy. But you can imagine that the buffalo sound is a bit like Hua, 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 like a duck. Yeah. Because they have similarity, they like swimming. Oh. Yeah. Now, all the water buffalo they go back home already. But if you uh, focus on the sound, oh. yeah. It's very similar to the duck sound. I'm really surprised when I see. I I heard that they belong to some duck, but it's not. It's from water buffalo. You see why? You see why making movies is hard. Yes. Hard work. Everybody thinks it's easy. Yeah. Under the very hot sun. Yeah. Okay, let me see. This is the. Uh... The bugs. What's that noise? The bugs. Yes, some bugs. menu in the number one restaurant in Bắc Ninh province. Yeah. They have many things related to buffalo meat, from the stir fried buffalo with vegetable, with garlic, with the green onion, or the buffalo you can eat in a hot pot. Yeah. If, um, for easier, you should try a stir fried buffalo with vegetable. Yeah. Cái này ăn uh, không được đúng không chị? On another plate is the raw buffalo meat. Yeah, on the other plate over there, buffalo meat and also stir fry buffalo with pineapple and many green onion. This one is buffalo with the uh, young brown. Also, so This is the uh, buffalo. They uh, make with the uh, chili sauce and eat with uh, bread. And uh, today we will eat the 
salad of green vegetable and the stir fry buffalo. And on the top, they, they put many fried onion. Yeah, it's very crispy. You eat together with the buffalo meat. And here's a glory morning vegetable. Also, a very popular green salad of Vietnam. Here, you are uh, share the uh, serving with the uh, vegetable, green fried onion, and the. Uh, Ừ, 12 giờ ăn, nếu nào nào sớm có gì này Khoảng 12 rưỡi, mua do 